Midnight Revolution with Alex Belfield on Capital Gold. Live across the UK, it's Alex Belfield with you through until one. And Keith's here playing you the best mix of music on the radio. Tuesday, 11th of April, it is today. Bangles on the way. Sly and the Family, Stone, Cliff Richard and Squeeze as well. And it's the late debate. We take your calls through until about half past 12 normally. And we never know what's going to come in. I set the agenda, but I always offer you the opportunity to change it should you wish to. Tonight we've taken a call from a guy called John who... Uh, basically says that he's not able to talk on any radio stations as soon as he says where he's from. They either cut him off or don't allow him on in the first place. Well, that's not what we're about here. Whether we agree or disagree with your lifestyle, your personality, your comments or your opinions, uh, we allow them on the air. I might not agree with you, but uh, John, thank you very much for calling in. Thank you very much for taking my call. Not at all. It's a pleasure. Now, first of all, I've only got to say three letters to scare the bosses at this radio station, you quite rightly say. You're associated with the BMP, how are you, to, what are you to do with them? Well, I voted for the British National Party last year in my local elections, which they gave the local Labour Party uh, one hell of a fright, I can tell you. That's in Manchester, is it? Yes. Uh, I'm becoming increasingly concerned that it's becoming difficult to express one's views and opinions because the system is suppressing views like mine. I agree with you. Now, the local government, where I live, all over the country, you see, because there's a quiet revolution taking place in our local communities at the moment. Now, for people who don't know, tens of thousands of people are now voting for this BNP party. Now, it's not just about race. It's about the fact that in 2005... One million people were attacked and uh, mugged on the streets of Britain. I mean, we have massive poverty uh, with children in this country. And it's not just about race. The BNP is a political party concerned with the fact that the changing face of this country is becoming an alarm. OK, one thing I want to say to you, I don't want this to become a political, party political broadcast. It's not but the party. Let me tell you, this might surprise you, John, mm -hmm. but I absolutely agree with you. We can no longer say in this country what we think. I have been reprimanded by this government twice since I've been at this radio station. I was called irresponsible mm -hmm. by the government. Mm -hmm. uh, Ofcom put a fine into this radio station for some comments I made about single mothers. You cannot make a comment about anybody now because we're so wishy-washy, pinko, liberal, guardian reading, champagne-sipping Europrats that we don't know which end our backside is. Well, I think the problem, though, where the BMP come into it is there's a huge tension with the race argument that you talk about, and I think that's where you're on dodgy ground, and that's where I do tend to get a bit nervous about you. Well, what I say this, now, six boroughs in London are now a white minority. Six boroughs in London. Now, yeah, but so what? Well, the fact is, the, the whole face of this country is changing. So you don't want black faces? No, no. You, you, I can say now with hand on heart, I am not uh, an extreme right-wing racist. No, but you are a bit of a racist by the fact that you've no. brought up that five areas in London have more black people than white people. Well, to me it is a concern because Britain has done so much. But what does it matter if those black people are nice black people? What does it matter? Well, we've done so much for the world, this country, and for tolerance, democracy and justice. Yeah, that's the Iraqis. Yes, but listen, I can say this and I will say this. You cannot force an alien culture onto another culture and swamp them without uh, provocation. Um, Darling, they're not alien. They, most of them now are second or third generation. Well, I can say this as well. that They have no loyalty to this country. How do you know? Well... You only have to go up to uh, Bradford and you can see all their flags flying from their taxis, from their buildings. Uh, believe it or not, there are places in this country like Moss Side, Chapel Town, you know, places in Leeds, Bradford, uh, Uddersfield, where a white man cannot go down that street because he's frightened to death. Yeah, but there are also places where black guys can't go around white areas because of the gangs. Oh, yes, I can... Completely accept what you've just said. I'm not, listen, I'm not here to judge you or to criticise you, but what I'm saying is where the BMP, I think, go wrong and where you've gone wrong tonight mm -hmm. is the first thing that you've come up with is telling me the facts that there are five areas in London where there are more black people than white. Mm -hmm. I don't see that as a problem. If you said to me, 
Of those five areas, the highest crime are in those five areas. I'd go, oh, we have a problem. But those facts aren't the truth. That isn't well, in the debate. The, the, the fact is that we, as I said, we all have our different views and opinions. Now, we can discuss it without hitting each other over the head with bottles and bricks. But the fact is, this country will end up like a Bosnia. Now, you cannot mix everybody up and expect peace and harmony because it just doesn't work like that, my friend. And, and what we have today, as I said, I didn't vote for the BNP just on racial grounds. I voted for the BNP because I see over a million children in this country under the poverty line, and I see crime and disorder on this street. I mean, where I live, firemen are being attacked with bottles and bricks. And that's all by black people, is it? No, it's not all by black people. No, no, no. So you're mixing it's... two issues no, to no. prove a point. No, it's... John, it's... John, you're going to have to be cleverer than this, no. because I'm, a, I'm a allowing you to have your say, and you've already said no other radio station will allow you to do this. I'm allowing you to have your say, but you can't say to me, there's an issue with black people, and then you say, there are firemen who are being beat up, and then I say to you, are they black people who are doing it? Well, no, not necessarily, because you're then disproving your own point. No, no. What I'm saying is, the British National Party recognises that there is a large number of white trash who are also causing massive problems in our local communities. But what you have to remember is this. All over this country, all over in local communities, you have ghettos with whites, Asians, blacks, and they're fighting each other. And I would agree with you, but, but there's, there's so many issues going on here. I think the problem you've got... Is, is establishing what you're after. There's no point fighting a campaign unless you know what you're after. I, I, uh, do you want these people sent back, as you would call it? Well, <clears throat> when you say sent back, I do not believe in forced repatriation. Well, you're wrong for a start, you see, because most of them were born here. There's nowhere to send them back to. Well, there is a great uh, many illegal immigrants and asylum... Uh, I agree with you on that. But you see, why didn't you say that in the beginning? This is where I have a problem with you, John. If you'd have said to me, send the illegal immigrants back, I'd go, yes, yeah, send the buggers back. No problem whatsoever. But you can't just say, because there are five areas in London where there's more black people than white, send them back, because they may have been born here, their mothers may have been born here, and their grandmothers may have been born here. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I find it sad that the, the, this country is changing so much and so rapidly. I don't want the white man to be a mo minority in this country. And it's a, you know, it doesn't make me a bad, evil man just because I'm on the radio station tonight saying I don't want the white man. Well, I'll, I'll, do, I'll be the judge of that and decide that. We're going to take some calls if you're happy to in a moment and, and get the reaction to you because we have a full switchboard if you're happy to do that, John. Oh, yes, sir. OK, 0845 356080. John, the problem you've got is what you're saying is that a black person is less trusted than a white person. No, I'm not saying that. I, no. You are, by what you've just said. What I'm saying... You're saying that a black person is worthless compared to a white person. No. A white person has a greater right to be in this country than a black person or a non-white person. No. What I'm saying is, bottom line, I'm concerned that the white man may or will become a minority. All right, let me ask you this question. What's better, Britain being all black and being safe, or Britain being all white and having social troubles, riots, well, burglary, crime, rape? Well... Answer the question, John. No, we've got crime... And John, answer the question. I'm answering the question. You're it's not. It's a muddled it's up It's a question. yes or no. No, it's not a muddled up question. The question I'm asking you is this. Would you rather have all black people in uh, Britain with no crime or a white community where there's rapes and pillaging and paedophiles going on, etc.? Answer the question, yes or no. I would have a majority... So you are a racist. You've just proved yourself a racist. No, I haven't. Yes, you have, because the answer you should have given was all black and safe. You'd rather have a paedophile who's white than a black man living next door to you. That's nonsense. Certainly not. And certainly not. I'd rather have a street full of Ethiopians and the, the rubbish that I've had to put up with. The fact that is not the case. The case is, at the end of the day, I'm worried, like tens of thousands of people who are now voting for this party, that we're going to be a minority. I agree with you on some of your points, but where you're muddling it up, you're allowing race to take precedence over everything else. Let me go to some live calls. We're live on the air. This is Capital Gold. Hello, what's your name? It's Margaret. Hello, Margaret. Did you want to speak to John? Um, Alex. Yes. Yes, please. What would you like to say? Well, I would like to say to him 
that I don't like the way he's phrasing it, but I was recently reading over um, Jack Straw's warning that t- 2.6 million people will try to the- enter the UK, and the Foreign Secretary has said that himself. Mm. And I've no problem, you see, if he'd come on and said illegal immigrants, I'd be fine. How do you react to that, John? Well, I would I react to that by saying that uh, the multiracial society was forced upon the British people. We was never... But can you appreciate, never mind all that nonsense, can you appreciate the way you phrase it is not that politically well, correct and it upsets people? Well, probably, because I'm not a very uh, educated man. No, don't play that card. You're no more or less educated than I am, so don't worry about that. I'm not. I'm not an educated man. Neither all am as, I. All as I know that the BBC banned me, my local radio station banned me, just because I came on and said, look... But can't you understand why? No, I can't. All right, let's go to another call. Thank you for your call, love. OK. Good then. to talk to you. Bye-bye. Uh, let's take line 37. Capital Gold, you're live on the air. Hello? Hello? Yes, what's your name? Teresa. What do you want to say, Teresa? I just want to say that, crying out loud, I work in a bookies... Yes. Right, a betting shop, and I get every nationality in. Yes. From Chinese to black. To and your point is. To and your what? point is. Huh? Your point is. My point is that everyone's entitled to. To spend money in your betting money. shop. All right. What do you think about that, John? I don't think she was the best person to argue, really, was she? I think she's had a few, yeah. I think she'd had a few as well. Capital Gold, you're live on the air. Hello, Alex. Hello, who's that? John. John, what do you want to say? Uh, I, I heard on the news today, mm-hmm. Britain is giving £8 billion pounds to another country. Yeah. What's wrong with our own house? And you would agree with that, would you, John? Oh, certainly, yeah, certainly. So you uh, think of home before you think of everyone else? Well, no, I do appreciate that uh, there's 8 million Africans, uh, there's a good chance that they're going to be starving to death. Yeah, famine in East, in East Africa, in Kenya. Mm. I would give them aid, yes, I would. But after yeah. ours? No. Yeah, yes, I would give them, no, I would give them aid because they're human beings, but the fact is there's billions and billions of pounds being wasted in this country, mm. and it's all going out of this country. Just look at the, uh, the figures for child poverty in this country. I agree with you on that, I have to say, but I still think there's a place to spend money abroad, and I think people like Bob Goloff should be ashamed of themselves. Thanks for your call, John. Yes. Bye-bye. Uh, John, we're going to take more calls. Are you happy to stay there and keep taking calls? Yeah, I'm quite surprised. <laughs> no, no, I'm not surprised at all, to be honest. I've been doing this for nearly 15 years, and whenever I get people like you on, you'll always provoke a reaction, and I allow you to have your say, because I think whether you're right or wrong, you're entitled to it, and as for the BBC banning you, well, that's because they're scared. Well, certainly. I'll challenge you. I won't agree with you on everything. Capital Gold, you're live on the air. Hello. Hello, what's your name? Hey, it's Dean. Hello, Alex. Hello, Dean. What's up? I'm sorry, I'm sorry he's, he, he's racist. John is racist. John, Hello. you're a racist. He's no. definitely racist. I'm uh, patriotic. No, he's, he's definitely racist. If you're going to go vote for BNP, they are after one thing, and that is to bring in and keep more whites in this country. That is, he's talking absolute rubbish. He's a racist. And that's all I've got to say about it. I think he's a racist. Mm. Thank you for your call. Good to talk to you. John, do you think it's worth the BMP changing their name to the SBB? What does that stand for? Send the buggers back? No, no. No? The uh, BMP, the BMP have transformed themselves into a community party. And they see no, what's you haven't. going on. No, you've still got racist overtones, to be honest. Well, lots of us have got uh, overtones. I mean... Uh, what about communists and uh, people who want to teach homosexuals to young children? Oh, what's your theories on homosexuality, then? I don't mind. Uh, they can do what they want to do, but uh, the fact is you shouldn't be teaching it in schools. You shouldn't be teaching young children that uh, about two men uh, having sex. Should they be allowed to get married? What, should two men be allowed to get yeah. married? Well, it's got nothing to do with me. They just do what they want, but uh, mm. it doesn't mean I agree with it. I don't uh, agree with them adopting children. Okay, John, hang on there, we've got another call. Capital Gold, you're live on the air. Hello. Hello. Who's that? Marion. Hello, Marion, what can I do for you? Um, you talked about this uh, racism, about overcrowding and, and uh, overpopulation. Yes. Do you not think it's a good idea if the government start putting sterilisation and people have got AIDS and breeding AIDS forevermore and stop this money going out of the country? I think that man's right. 
Mm. There's just too much public in this country, let alone anybody else's country. So I should suggest, if you put on the air, that the um, sterilisation should come in as a force because so many people suffer with AIDS, etc. Right? And being in this country mm. as well. I think that's a good idea. The problem is, though, love, so many people have got in Africa. I think you'd wipe out Africa, to be truthful. Well, I don't know. I mean, there's most of them in here as well, aren't they? Let's, pay, let's face it, they're all coming over here as well. So I'm not sure whether they're all coming over here. I don't know how they... I don't, well, not nearly in, all of them, love. You see, you're, you're doing it as well, love. Nearly all of them. There's billions of them over there. They're not all coming the over. last tall bloody wars, you know that. You come back with a broken leg for, for India. Just because you fought a war, it doesn't give you the right to be racist. No, I'm not racist. I'm explaining if there's a population going on this. Forevermore, it's going to be treble, double um, treble... And by the 10 years' time, they'll be overcrowding this country and we'll be saying, we should have done it in the first place. Thank you very much for your call, love. Good to hear from you. John, presumably you're in line with many of her comments? Well, it's not surprising because uh, there's so many people like that now who have not... You know, a hundred over 150,000 people voted for him in, in the uh, last elections or so. Now, all them people are not Nazis and racists. 150,000? Oh, yes. And in the well, there's 65 million people in the UK, so that's less than 1%, isn't it? Well, you have to remember, uh, they're still growing, this party, and uh, they didn't put up the full amount of candidates, and there's a lot of bias in the media. Nobody gives them courage. Uh, courage. No, because you get, your, you get your points mixed up. Is yeah. your party full of a lot of thickos and people who are at uh, one short IQ of uh, one point uh, lower than a kind of retard? I mean, what, what kind of people are you attracting? Well... As I said, I'm not a member of the BNP. I only I voted for them in the local elections, and uh, occasionally I get their newspaper sent to me. Uh, if you read their newspaper, you won't see any racism in it at all. No, thank you. I've got better things to do in my time. John, are you happy to hang on because we've got a full switchboard? Oh, yes, sir. I need to take a commercial break. We've got about another ten minutes left of the late-night revolution, late debate, so you are to hang on there? Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, we're paying for the call anyway, so it won't cost you anything. Uh, if you're on the line, hang on, we'll come to you next. 0845 35 60 70 80. As John said, banned from the BBC, banned from every radio station. This is the only radio station that gives people a voice. Whether we agree with you or disagree with you, you're allowed to have your say. 0845 35 60 70 80. We'll be back with John and you next at Capital Gold. Across London, the late night revolution with Alex Belfield. Capital Gold! The Late Night Revolution.